Hello. The Moose to Poe. Maligan Young. The uh, Dating. Uh, our mission house here in the Philippines. I am a missionary. Uh, Frank Williams. My wife and I are missionaries of God the Father, the Almighty Maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His Son, uh, under the anointing and the direction of the Holy Ghost. We want to greet you today. Uh, we we do have a um, we do have a crowdfunding site that we're using to those who want to continue to help pay the bills of the gospel. The gospel is free, but the costs associated well those are not free. Electricity, the internet, rent on the mission house, uh, food. For the people that we feed, we uh, meals to every day. Uh, those things are not free. Gasoline uh, to and from the mission fields, those are not free. Supplies like the heat and uh, the electric, those things are not free. Today, we're talking about uh, some things that we believe and we hold to be true, uh, important uh, doctrine here, important teaching here on the mission fields of the Philippines, and especially when the Bible tells us, uh, the Apostle Paul tells us in uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, that in the last days perilous times will come and then he spends the rest of the chapter telling us about how uh, people are out to deceive they're out to deceive uh, you it tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 13 but uh, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So, under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, the Apostle Paul gives you apostolic advice, gives it to you, and gives it to those who will listen to the teaching and apply that teaching to their lives today. He advises so that you will not be deceived. Continue in the things which you have learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learn them. We should begin to teach our children about hearing from God and speaking to Him, hearing from God and speaking to Him, just like you teach your children how to hear from you and how to communicate with, uh, with you. They need to be taught how to pray how to hear from God, and how to talk to God. Uh, knowing of whom you have uh, learned them, you should know those who teach you. They should be able to give you the information they have learned, and who taught them, they should be able to provide information about their walk with God, and their uh, growth in the Lord, they should be able to give you that information. Um, you should be able to track their history. And um, verse 15, And that from a child you have known the holy scriptures, 
which are able to make you wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. The Bible is the inspired Word of God. Yes, both the Old and New Testament, they were inspired under the inspiration that means they were breathed into the Word of God by the breath of God, inspired. If you die, they write down, you expired at uh, such and such date and such and such time. Expired, that means all of your breath, your last breath is gone. But with the uh, Word of God, His Word is alive. And uh, if you uh, read it and understand it and experience and apply the Word of God to your life today, you are wise. They are able to make you wise uh, unto uh, salvation. So uh, we need to apply the Word of God right away to our lives. Today is the day of salvation. We apply the Word of God today. Jesus says, teaches that those who hear these words and do not do them, for whatever reason you put off the teaching, you apply it to your life later in your life at another time, you might say, well, I'm young, I'll, I believe the word of God to be true, but I don't want to apply it to my life right now. I'm too young. I want to go out and party and live life before I apply the Word of God to my life. Jesus teaches that that is foolish and that you build upon a foundation that is less than solid, less than secure. When I say build your life, that means build your career, build uh, your empire, uh, to build your wealth, to build your family, to build your education. You're building on a, on a foundation that is not solid, that is not secure. But he uh, tells us in verse 16, all scripture, that's both the Old and New Testament, is uh, given by inspiration of God. God breathed life into the Word of God just like he uh, blew into us human beings and made man a living soul uh, by inspiration of God and is profitable or for doctrine. Well, your doctrine, doctrine also means teaching. If you're in the body of Christ, if you're in the family of God, your teaching needs to be from the Bible needs to be from the Word of God. What is your doctrine? Many people can uh, recite to you at least portions of uh, the Apostles' Creed. We believe in God the Father, Jesus Christ, His only Son, the Holy Spirit, uh, distinct yet uh, three in one. He, uh, he was born of a virgin. He uh, lived a sinless life. He paid the price for you and me on that cross. The Bible testifies to his miracles and to his sinless life. 
and uh, he uh, was crucified and buried and uh, on the third day he rose again he lives today he has promised I shall return he says I go to prepare a place for you and if I go to prepare a place for you I will return again so that where I am there ye may be also he's come to prepare a place for you so this is teaching that we find our doctrine is found in the Bible for reproof when you uh, when you listen to a man or woman teach you the Word of God you should have your your Bible should be opened so that you can follow the teaching so that you can follow along in the Bible so that you can reproof that means you can check to see with uh, that what they are saying does indeed come from the Bible for for uh, for reproof reproof means to to check your own work to check your own teaching to uh, check for errors so you can write something down but you need to uh, check it again to uh, edit yourself according to the Word of God for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man or woman of God may be perfect, spiritually mature, thoroughly furnished, or very well equipped unto all good works. Brothers and sisters, the most important thing you should learn about evaluating a ministry and what they preach and teach the Bible the both the Old and New Testament that is the ultimate standard for truth and if one cannot point to chapter and verse if they can't retrieve that from the Word of God they should not be teaching the Word of God they should be able to study to show themselves approved yes we need to Jesus tells us in Mark 16 he says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And if we do, these signs shall follow those that believe. All of them may not follow you, but if you are a believer and you are bragging on Jesus, some of these signs will follow. Jesus said he teaches us that um, if we are ashamed of him before others that he would be ashamed of us before our Father is in heaven. This is essential to brag on Jesus. It's a uh, it's essential to uh, salvation so this is what you must do to be saved Romans 10 verse 9 says we need to be we need to believe in our heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead the heart is the equivalent to our thinking mind uh, we need to 
believe in our heart and speak it with their mouth. The Lord Jesus, confess with your mouth, yes, I'm guilty. I believe in Jesus. He is my Savior. Yes, I believe that Father God has raised him from the dead. You believe in your heart. You confess with your mouth. You confess. You admit to it. You brag about it. It is even better to brag about it. You shall be saved for with the heart man believes, but with the mouth confession is made, or you brag from your mouth. And if you believe in him, you shall not be ashamed because these signs shall follow those that believe. Yes, since at first resurrection day, the anointing continues to flow for nearly 2,000 years now. The anointing continues to flow every day every day and he's promised I will never leave you or forsake you Wow I will never leave you or forsake you it says I am with you always and these signs shall follow those that believe he gives you evidence he says, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, Luke 4, 18. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. If you brag about Jesus, he, he promises you. He promises you. It's a promise of the Father. We find this in the Word of God. Yes, people need to tell you why they believe, what a difference you've made in my heart, what a difference you've made in my heart, what a difference you've made in my heart. I might have the words in error just a little bit there. I think it's what a difference you've made in my life. We uh, need to be prepared to brag about Jesus and tell what a change he's made in our lives. How he is our sunshine day and night. What a difference he's made in my life. So brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you if this is something that is uh, you found helpful, share it with those with whom uh, you think can benefit from this teaching and apply it to their, to their lives. You can hit, you can follow us on Rumble by hitting join or subscribe. There's no cost to it join or subscribe you can hit it right here on this platform so it'll say uh, join or subscribe you can do that and uh, share this with others share it with more people you know and then uh, uh, if the Lord speaks to you go to this link right here on the side here and sometimes it be found uh, on the other side. So the times it be found on the other side. That link to give sin and go, give sin go dot com, and uh, just give us unto the Lord as He directs you. Uh, we appreciate you today. We're praying for you. We want to say hello to our friends here in the Philippines those in the Western Hemisphere, those on uh, 
different continents. Hello to you over in Africa, you in Australia, you in the Western Hemisphere, our friends in Cuba, and on the uh, East Coast of the United States, those of you in Asia, Southeast Asia, yes, write to us. We're looking forward to hearing from you and share this. Share it with others and hit the like button. Y'all have a good day. Remember, Jesus loves you.